So while I continue to run these, I might overclock them, but I don't have any power shards, so we'll have to go out and do an exploration episode to, to do all that. Hey, dude. <laughs> A yellow power slug. Wow. Thanks, Doug. Dude, you know what that means? You get an extra pet. Uh, I have another yellow power slug, so we could do the research on one and then turn the other one into some power shards. Doug is amazing. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we are going to start uh, a small temporary steel production. Uh, because we're going to need beams and pipes uh, to get the rest of the things that we need, uh, like uh, Mark III belts and that sort of thing. Uh, our power seems to be doing okay. Uh, it is uh, the next day, actually, uh, for me in real life. Uh, so, you know, obviously, I locked out the game, went to sleep and all that. So, uh, it seems to be okay. I have not seen any kind of a patch, though, um, that I'm aware of that's been released to fix that. So, we'll just leave our coal power plants alone and hopefully they'll run okay without any issue uh all right so i think what we'll do for the steel production is if we continue these platforms here I'll put that into zoop mode can we yeah we can cover all of that we don't want to cover the the coal but i just want to make sure the tops of these dunes would be covered so let's leave an opening there and then we'll run our platform out this way. All right, let's take that down and we're going to need two miners. Uh, we're also going to need... I think we're going to need three foundries for what I want to do. Right. Okay. So let's go get the stuff for making that. So we'll grab all of those rotors. We're going to need some more of these to make the modular frames. And we'll just handcraft that stuff. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, right. I was going here to make portable miners. My brain decided to go back to sleep. It's early in the morning. All right. So um, I'm going to... Let, let's see where this... Okay, no, hold on. Let's get rid of these foundations here. Um, and we're going to put down four meters on the grid. Uh, because the these uh, basically are going to be the cornerstone foundations for our iron factory over by the waterfall. So I want to place them now and I want to get the miner in place now because this miner is going to stay here permanently and we're going to switch it over to provide our large uh, coal power plant after, you know, we're done making the steel. So I want to get that in place. And then I had mentioned, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but I had mentioned in episode one, that we're going to build a conveyor road, and this is the line that it's going to go go along here. But if we if we go down to this level here, we're probably going to hit the dunes. Um, let's just see how much it clips. If it just clips a little bit, I won't worry about it because this is temporary. Yeah, it's not, it's not that bad. I think, I think we'll just work with it. But yeah, this will be our, in fact, let's just, let's just run it right now, or at least get started with it so we can see where that's going to be. All right. Yeah, 
and we'll put those there and run these here and maybe let's do one more to there okay that should give us enough room i think to do our steel our steel stuff okay let's also put these down here And put the other miner there. Say, okay, so we're... I'm trying to think what I want to do about the iron. I, we're not... Oh, yeah, right. We're not fully utilizing this iron. We're not even using half of it. So I think what we'll do is we'll... We'll fully utilize this for our steel production and whatever excess is left over we'll continue using to make rotors because we don't need rotors in massive quantities um <clears throat> we still need them of course but we don't need them in massive quantities we're going to need the steel stuff in pretty big quantities relatively speaking all right let's go over here and I'm going to fill that in so I don't fall down in the hole. Um, oh, I'm missing rods. Okay. Let's go get some rods and some other stuff. In fact, let's see. We have, we have three foundries queued up. And then we're going to need, I think we're going to need three constructors. Uh, yeah, that should be right. And then we're going to need two storage containers for what I want to do. So we have everything except for rods. Maybe grab a few stacks of those. Uh, let's grab another couple stacks of plates. I don't think we need screws for anything we're going to do. How are we doing on cables? Doing good on cables or wire cables. We got a full stack. Of, well, let's get a little bit more of this because we're gonna. Oh no, we don't need to run another power line. Never mind. We're good. I meant like a long power line. Uh, also, just FYI, we have 28 coupons already. Very nice. We'll we'll be getting some stuff uh, off the store when we start building our main factory. Um, yeah, okay. So, why is that red? Okay, that's weird. And now it went away. <laughs> Another bug. <clears throat> Uh, let's see here. I want to... I guess we'll put that there for the moment. Can we get over there without clipping? Yeah, we can. Look at that. All right. Fantastic. Well, let's get the machine set up and the coal set up, and then we'll do the iron last. Um, in fact, too, since this part of the equation is going to be permanent, uh, let's get rid of that row. And then we'll move this up. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that's okay. Move this out to here. Trying to get that to go. There we go. Not you. Okay, so we're going to need to use Mark 2 for this because... Uh, no, we don't. Sorry. Uh, when we combine them, we'll need to use Mark 2. But... The reason I'm actually said Mark 2, though, is because I am going to upgrade these miners to mark two miners and then we will need but we don't need that yet and I don't have an abundance of um, 
Here, let's do this. Reinforced plates yet to do that. So we'll go with Mark 1 for the moment. Alright, let's put you right there. We'll put a lift in going up this way. And we'll run you down this way. Uh, do I want to go through there? No, uh... I don't think... I Ultimately... Well, yeah, maybe we will. That way it'll, it won't be in the way of the, the steel stuff. Uh, encroaching on another's thingy. Okay, I tell you what, let's put this up here. We want to put a merger here because again I'm setting this up for for its permanent uh, at least part of it you know for its permanent setting here that might be a little oh yeah that's definitely gonna be too sharp let's put the merger out maybe on the end that should work not straight. Let's go into straight mode. Oh, nope. Don't like that either. Alright, well, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. That should be coming... Yeah, that way. Except for it's not giving me the... the line. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I think that's where we want to be there. Okay. So yeah, the straight thing is nice, but certainly not applicable to every situation. And that will be our merger, and then out of here we will need to do Mark 2 for 120, and then eventually Mark 3 when we upgrade the miners, because then we'll have a total of 240 coming on that line. Okay, good. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is let's run some more foundations this way just to give ourselves a little more room. This is probably more than we need, but that's okay. We're going to manifold this. So let's go ahead and put down a foundry here. It's going to make things kind of tight, so let's move it out a bit. Maybe out to there. Put down another foundry and a third foundry. All right, you're all going to be doing steel. Okay, now we'll do a constructor. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, that's okay. It's going to be a little tight through here, but I think it'll be okay. We're going to set you to do pipes and you guys to do steel beams. Um, okay, so 
let's let's look at the math here. So we have a total of 135, I believe. Uh, 45 times 3 is 135 ingots coming out. Um, you're going to need 60, and you're going to need 60, so that's 120, and you're going to need 30. So what <clears throat> the way we're going to handle that is I think we're going to underclock this machine to 30. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So that way the the numbers work out. Uh, no, wait. Hold on. We're doing 135, right? So 120, 15. So that's only... That's only uh, 90. That's only 105 that we're using. No. 90 and 30 is 120. So we still have 15 more we could do. So we want this to be 45. All right. So it looks like 11? 11? 11.5? 11.5? We'll just call it 11.3, close enough. All right, so let me just double check my math here. So 60 plus 45 plus 30 is 135. Okay, good. And these are all going to out. Well, and we got to make sure, though, that we're so supplying the foundries at full capacity, which we will do one way or the other. Yeah, you know what? I'm this is gonna be too tight. I'm gonna have to move these forward. Okay, so let's copy that one because that's the one with the special numbers. The rest of them are the just default. Definitely gonna need to move this forward. Um let's try to do it. I mean it doesn't really matter if it's lined up with the one behind because we're manifolding it, but I just need, we need room to lay the storage bins down too. I think we can probably work with this. Here, let's set that one back to our special numbers there. And that's just the normal steel pipe. You should be the 45. What if we did 11.2? I'm not going to do 11.2.5.7, I mean, I mean, or, or 5.7, it's not necessary. Not for this, especially. <coughs> Those are reset. Good. Okay, so we will have... Um, Why don't we do a center manifold here? That'll come out to yeah. Okay. Now that I think about this, there there's a a way we could do this a little easy more easily. So let's line this splitter up here on you. And you can line up there. Oh my god, those lines are nice. Those moving lines. And then we're just going to do this. Uh, I, you know what, though? I need to... Oh no, yeah, this should work. Do I have... What's going on here? You um, are not going in there because this needs to be a merger. That's what the problem is. All right. So if we hold down control, we can replace that.
Okay, good. Beautiful. So, everything, you know, once everything gets up and running, it'll... It'll distribute the ore, or not the ore, the ingots, um, evenly th amongst these three machines. It's a beautiful thing. Alright, let's grab some power here. And we'll just stick that right there. We'll use you to power these guys. Uh, we're going to need another pole here. Everything's powered up. Now we need to get the coal and the iron in here. So let's run the coal. Let's put lifts here for the iron on the left. And we'll bring the iron in from this side. Uh, so we want to grab splitters. Except for that needs to be out one. Where's our line? There we go. Let's move it out one. Okay, these are going to have to be reset. Oh, did I hold that out too far? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that's straight. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Just making sure they hadn't changed the dimensions of things. All right, you're going to need, we need to actually feed ore in here, not ingots. All right, so we need to switch this out. Uh, yeah, we need to switch this out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to send the ore down this line, and we need to upgrade it to a Mark II line as well. And we can reset up smelters uh, down on the other end. So, yeah, let's just, whoops, <clears throat> let's cut it out. Don't do that. All right, so this needs to be Mark II. How many, all right, we'll see how far we can go. I don't think I'm going to have enough to upgrade this all the way. And we also need to set this to 120, since that's a pure node. Let's see how far we can get here. Nice. We made it all the way here. Beautiful. Okay, that's in the center there. So what I'm going to do is... Put a couple lifts there. And this needs to be marked four. And we're going to be bringing in 45 iron ore per machine. So that means we're, st we're still, we still have 130 between these two, which means this also needs to be a Mark IV. And then, then we're down to 45 here. So that could stay a Mark three or a Mark one. Sorry. So we'll just wait for these ingots <coughs> to finish passing this point 
And when that happens, then we'll break the line here and, and set up for the ore to come in. And then I'll, uh, we'll use whatever the overflow of that ore is to uh, take care of the, the rotors because I want to keep those going too. So we'll worry about that later. Okay, let's get the coal going. Um, also, let's see, we're doing a total of 120 on the coal, so we need the same thing for here. Actually, hold on, before we do that, um, let's get a merger. No, splitter. With the output there. <clears throat> put these down the center there we go I was waiting for the lines to show up it took them a second that is amazing okay so we we should have the same ratios here so this one needs to be a mark two but this one can be a mark one And then the belts going into the machines can all be Mark 1. Okay, can we do a straight on this one? Huzzah! Love it! Okay, so... Um, if, okay, hold on. If we're sending 120 and we're consuming 120, no, actually we're consuming 135. So we're, we're not going to have any iron at all. Uh, and we're going to actually be a little bit short. So we won't be able to tap into this for for the rotors. Okay, we'll have to figure something else out. The rotors are the uh, you know are the least most important thing. Uh, I I do definitely want to keep them going, but we're going to be using a lot more reinforced plates than we are rotors. So I'll have to figure out how to deal with that. But I'll worry about that later because I want to get this steel going first. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera um, for just a little bit. Give that a little bit of thought on what I'm going to do about the rotors and wait for this uh, ore to, to get down here to hook it up. So I'll bring you back um, at that point. All right, guys. Um, let's cut it right there. Perfect. Okay. Now almost perfect. So now we're going to grab this Mark II belt and run it into there. And I, d I decided, you know, we're going to be 15 or per minute shy, but I'm not going to worry about that. I, I definitely would worry about it if this was a permanent setup, but this isn't. So it's not going to be a big deal to be just a little bit under for our temporary setup. Okay, so let's um, grab, uh, nope, not a storage box, a storage container. Put one right here. And then we'll put one here, except for that we're going to need to hold it out more. Is that messing up anything down here? I don't think so. Well, sort of, but I think we won't worry about it. Or we could make this a two meter. Because we need room for a merger. That's why I gotta move it out there. Let's move it to, say, there. Then 
I had that in straight. Nope. Now it's in straight mode. Okay. Very good. So we have steel beam and steel pipe production going now. Or should be momentarily. Yeah, it's working on it. I could have sworn I hooked that belt up. <laughs> I guess not. Or maybe I did and took it apart again and not meaning to. I don't know. So I do have a solution for over here. Um, I'm just going to wait, you know, for the rest of those ingots to be consumed. But uh, basically I stopped my screw production uh, way back over that way because we have a full bin of screws. And that I, I can't imagine that won't be enough to get us by until... We build the permanent factory, and if it isn't, then we'll just make more. Uh, so we basically have 30 ingots worth of iron here, and you need 10, and you need 12 and a half, so we, we still have plenty to go around. So we're basically just going to reverse this setup. Um, well, looks like they were, we're just about done there with the... Yep, we're done. Okay, cool. So we'll take this down. Take that down. Make sure I don't accidentally hit my miner over there. In fact, you know what? We don't even need these lifts. Let's just take them down all together. We will put a... Uh, splitter here. Okay, how come you're not showing me the lines? Well, you're showing me a solid line. Huh. Now it is. I want the belt, not the pole. Oh, for goodness six. So yeah, we're actually sending a, a little bit more than we need to. Um. So while I continue to run these, I might overclock them but I don't have any power shards so we'll have to go out and do an exploration episode to, to do all that which we can do and probably will do very soon alright do I have one more thingy out here I need to yeah clean up let's get rid of that and I think we're good I think we are good to go So yeah, it's getting a little bit messy around here, but it won't last forever. Uh, I think the next thing we want to do now is, yeah, see, we have a full, a full thingy of screws and then even a few backed up into here. So we can just take that down. Uh, but I definitely want to keep my rods and plates going. We're going to need rods and plates for this throughout this entire playthrough. Um, because you need them for the Mark 1 belts and, you know, you you'll, will continue to use them. Oh, hey, Dad, you scared me. <laughs> A yellow power slug. Wow. Thanks, Doug. Dude, you know what that means? You get an extra pet. Uh, I have another yellow power slug, so we can do the research on one and then turn the other one into some power shards. Doug is amazing. Okay, let's see. Power slug. We need... We got everything. Let's do it. Research completed. Yellow power slugs are further into their life cycle than blue power slugs and thus have more potential energy stored. They can now be processed into power shards. Damn straight. Okay, I got a bunch of extra ore and ingots. I think we're just going to sink those. Just don't really have any use for, for that at the moment. Okay, 
We won't hardly get any, you know, squat for points on that, but that's okay. At least it's not being thrown away completely. All right, so we just need to overclock these to accept 30 ingots per minute. Um, and we want to kind of try and do that somewhat evenly. So let's put... A, oh, wait, you're not even... You're underclocked. Oh, my God. Okay. So if we just bump you up about to 75%. That only takes 11. Okay, let's bump you all the way up. So now you're taking in 15. And if we just get you up to 15, then we'll be consuming all of it. Sixty per minute. There we go. All right. Now I'm I'm not sure how efficient our numbers are going to be on this side, but again, I'm not worried about that because it's temporary. When we set up permanent factories, our numbers will be set correctly. But it's you know there's there's a some diminishing returns when you're trying to be that accurate for something that's a temporary setup. All right, guys. Um, let's see how how much time do we have? Yeah, we got a little bit of time. Let's see if we can work on our next thing. Now, our next, the most important ones that we need are logistics three, advanced steel, and blueprints. Uh, the other ones we will do also, of course, um, but they're not as critical. So, uh, I think. It doesn't really matter which one we do. We got to do them all. So let's just queue up advanced steel production. And that's going to get us the mark to minor. That's the real reason why, you know, I, I've been pushing so hard to get to advanced steel for that. I mean, we need these other things, obviously, too. But this is what we really want. Uh, so let's select that milestone. And uh, we're going to need... I'm going to have to make the frames. We probably already have 100 pipes and we probably almost certainly have the concrete too. The other stuff, not so much. Oh, actually, we only have. Yeah, we have. We have enough. We need need a hundred. We have hundred and thirty. Let's grab whatever rotors we currently have in here. Eighty-eight. And let's go over here and grab whatever concrete we have. Oh, shit. <laughs> we got tons of concrete. Maybe we'll grab two stacks of that. Okay, pipes, rotors, concrete. So I'm going to need to make um, another um, 87. Yeah, 87 rotors, and I'm going to need to make 100 frames. So I will do all of that now uh, by hand. All right, guys, we have everything we need. Let's put the frames in and the rotors in. Milestone reached. The Miner Mark II allows extraction of resources from nature to fix it at twice the speed of the Mark I model. From nature to fix it. Miners can be directly <laughs> upgraded to Mark II without removing the Mark I model, just like conveyor belts and other upgradable infrastructure. Unfortunately, setting up the production of advanced steel parts and project part number three, automated wiring, will not be as easy. Every moment you delay reduces the chances of saving humanity. I will not show you the predictions. It would only demotivate you. <laughs> okay. All right. Awesome. So we are we're almost ready to to get out of the beginning part of the game here. Uh, so we still need blueprints, Mark III, um, th those in particular. And like I said, we'll do the other ones, of course, too. But those are the ones we really need to, to get started on the factory. Well based upon the parameters that I have set for this this series, that is. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, let's go with Logistics Mark III next. Um, and so we're going to need all of this stuff, but all of this stuff is automated. So here's what I think we're going to do. 
I think we're going to uh, in the next episode. I think we're going to go on a, an exploration um, and look for some more hard drives, and you know, just kind of check things out and let our automation take care of making all of these things for us. So that is going to be the plan for the next episode. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.